Hey, it's Sally, and in this video, I'm going to show you four different options in Excel 2016, although it should be similar for most versions, uh, on how to round numbers with decimals. So I have some examples here uh, of numbers with decimals, and you could go ahead and manually deal with these, but it's a lot easier to use a formula, and it's a lot more accurate to use a formula. So the first uh, method I'm going to show you is just formatting. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste these into this field here. So what I can do is just on this home tab here I can go over to the number section and I can select how many decimals I want to show. So do I want to decrease that and as you can see they they automatically round uh, to the closest number and as we decrease all the decimals, we can see that they have rounded either up or down. So that's one option there. Um, and then another option is using the round formula. So I'm going to click in C2 and we're going to go up to formulas. You can also search for it in this uh, insert function box here. But uh, on f the formulas tab, they're located under math and trig. And just scroll on down to round. So it wants you to select the number that we're rounding. So I'm going to click in A2, or you can type it in there. And then now it wants you to select the number of digits uh, to round it to. So if we want it just to have one, uh, one decimal point to the, the tenths, we can click 1. And as you can see in the preview here, it rounds it to 12.5 just like formatting does. If we want to change that to 2, it's uh, the number we started with. If we change it to negative 1, then it drops that down to 10. So I'm sure there could be a point in time where you would want to do that, but for now I'm just going to leave it at 1. Now if we want to copy this down to the rest of these, I'll just hover here click hold drag down so there we go so these all look the same as using formatting so another option is round up so that rounds to the nearest integer up so again I'm gonna click in D2 I'm gonna go to the formulas tab to math and trig and I'm gonna scroll down to round up and while you're in here take a look at the different formulas in here because you never know what you don't know. So you might find something that's super useful that you just didn't realize was an option here. So I'm going to click on round up and again it wants us to select the number so I'm going to select uh, A2 here or again you can type it in. So now again we want to select the number of digits so if we select one uh, we can see the the answer here so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to drag this down. So there we go. So we're starting to see some slightly different numbers here. And that's because we're rounding up rather than down. And then now we're going to go to round down. So we're going to click in uh, cell E2. Go up to formulas, math and trig. Scroll down to round down. Again, select the number that we want to round. And then the number of digits. I'm going to pick one there. And then copy this down. So there we go. So we have some slightly different answers here depending on what you want to do. Each option is going to give you different results. Uh, so select whatever is going to uh, suit your your needs for rounding. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave me any questions or comments in the comments uh, box below and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.